Greetings and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at subtract with renaming, and we are on page 149. Let's begin by looking at our story problem. A class raised $318 for two charities. The class raised 164 to charity A. The rest of the money was donated to charity B. How much money was raised to charity B? Right? So again here, we have the whole, and we have one of the parts, and so we use subtraction to find the missing part. And that's what they've told us to do here. Again, this is similar to what we did yesterday. So we see that we have a hundreds, we have our tens, and we have our ones. We have plenty of ones to subtract, but we don't have enough tens. And therefore, we have to take a hundred and rename it as ten tens in order to do this problem. And so that's what we see here. Now we'll do this in our algorithm. So here, eight minus four, that's easy. We can do eight minus four, and that is four. Right? But now we have one minus six, and that's the problem. We can't do that. That would give us a negative number, and we don't want that. So we're gonna have to go over to the three and take away one of those hundreds. So we're gonna have two hundreds, which we see here, or see here, okay? And then we are going to have to add that ten hundreds or that ten tens like that. So now we have eleven tenths. Eleven minus six is five. And two minus one is one. All right? And so the answer is 154. And that's what we see here, right? 100. One, two, three, four, five. So 50. One, two, three, four, four. So 154 dollars was donated to Charity B. All right? Go ahead and turn with me to page 150. All right. Now, as I work through this, I want you to try to say the answer uh, even before uh, I do. Okay, so I'll give a little bit of pause and you try to answer it uh, just as quickly, if not more quickly than me. All right, here we go. Three minus three is six. Two minus four, I need two. Rename. The four becomes a three and the two becomes a twelve. 12 minus 4 is 8, and 4 minus, or sorry, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So 186, right? 714 minus 392, 4 minus 2 is 2. 1 minus 9, I need 2. Rename. I cross out the 7, and it becomes a 6, and the 1 becomes 11. 11 minus 9 is 2. 6 minus 3 is 3. 1 minus 0 is 1. 4 minus 9 is a negative number. I need 2. Rename. Cross out the 6. It becomes a 5. And the 4 becomes 14. 14 minus 9 is 5, and 5 minus 1 is 4. 8 minus 5 is 3. 0 minus 2 is, oh, you're right, I need to rename. Cross out the 5, it becomes a 4, and the 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. 4 minus 4 is 0. Okay? And I don't actually need to put that 0. All right? Okay. That comes now to the time of practice on your own. So take some time to do these. Uh, do your best to do them independently. If you need some support from an adult, that's okay. But do your best to do it as much as you can on your own. Uh, when you're done, come on back and we will review them together. Go ahead and pause now. All right, very good. So hopefully you have these finished. And so now we will work on these together, right? Uh, so I have to stack these very neatly. So 738 minus 343. Here we go. 8 minus 3 is 5. I said it before me. 3 minus 4 is it's a negative, so I need to regroup. I cross out the 7, it becomes a 
6, and the 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 4 is 9, and 6 minus 3 is 3. And the answer is 395. Next, we have 835 minus 471. 5 minus 1 is 4. 3 minus 7 is a negative number, so I need to regroup. This 8 becomes a 7, and 3 becomes a 13. 13 minus 7 is 6. 7 minus 4 is 3. So the answer is 364. Next we have 907 minus 134. 7 minus 4 is 3. 0 minus 3 is, yeah, negative number, need to rename. The 9 becomes a 8, and the 0 becomes a 10. 10 minus 3 is 7, and 8 minus 1 is 7. So the answer is 773. 209 minus 142. 9 minus 2 is 7. 0 minus 4, got to rename, cross out the 2, it becomes a 1, and the 0 becomes a 10. 10 minus 4 is 6, 1 minus 1 is 0, and I don't actually need to put that, and the answer is 67. All right, that is the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day. Good luck on your independent work. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.